On this island, there lives a hunter that smells its prey with its tongue that will ambush pigs, deer, even people, tearing them apart. It looks primitive, like a dinosaur, though it's not. Komodo dragons are lizards, specifically monitor lizards, which means they're far from primitive. Of the almost 5,000 types of lizard, monitors are the smartest. Some can even count. And while they vary in size as much as an elephant and a mouse, they share a distinctive temperament. Monitor lizards are lizards with an attitude. They know that they're top predators, and they act like they're top predators. They aren't afraid of anything. They are smart. But could there be a side to monitors we've missed? That they're not only cunning, clever, and fearless, but in some cases, downright cuddly? Hungry sometimes, not for a meal, but a pat or a bath. I dare anybody to go to a major zoo and look a monitor lizard in the eye. It's looking back at you. Other lizards don't do that. Lizards as you've never seen them. Up next on Nova, Lizard Kings. Funding for Nova is provided by the following. Retirement. It may be a long way off or another adventure waiting just ahead. Pacific Life can help provide a dependable income you can enjoy for the rest of your life. Because retirement could be a very long ride. Your financial professional can tell you more about Pacific Life. Pacific Life, the power to help you succeed. Natural gas is a cleaner burning fuel, yet a lot of natural gas has impurities like CO2 in it. Controlled Free Zone is a new technology being developed by ExxonMobil to remove the CO2 from the natural gas so we can safely store it where it won't get into the atmosphere. ExxonMobil is spending more than $100 million to build a plant that will demonstrate this process. I'm very optimistic about it because this technology could be used to reduce greenhouse gas emissions significantly. And Merrill Lynch Wealth Management. You can learn more at ml.com slash help to and David H. Koch. And... Discovering new knowledge. HHMI. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Beneath Central Australia's great deserts, eggs, still and silent for nearly nine months, are showing signs of life. But no doting mother attends the new arrivals. They either make it out of their shells or not. Either gain mastery of their bodies or die trying and die they well might. They have no future in this burrow. Their only chance at survival is to claw their way straight up through more than three feet of baking sand to the open air. Here they must seek cover fast before adults of their own kind take notice and eat them. No question it's a hard beginning, 
But such hardship has molded some extraordinary creatures. A family of about 60 lizard species known as monitor lizards or lizard kings. Sixty-five million years ago, a cataclysm wiped out the ruling reptiles, the dinosaurs. But monitor lizards survived. Of the nearly 5,000 types of lizard found today, the monitors are the undisputed kings. Almost half of the monitor species live in Australia. In this desert, one has become top predator, a position usually occupied by mammals. And it's no accident. True, like all lizards, this species called the parenti cannot regulate its body temperature internally. But that doesn't mean they're sluggish. Give them some rays, and they have the stamina, speed, and smarts of a mammal. And they're big, sometimes six feet long, commanding home ranges of up to 2,000 acres. Australia's outback harbors all kinds of creatures, not just lizards. It may look barren, Actually, it's a patchwork of different habitats, each sheltering its own species. But the lizards stand out, giving the region its nickname, Land of Lizards, and making it the perfect place for lizard hunters. I saw my first lizard when I was a little boy, and I thought it was the neatest thing I'd ever seen. I can't believe that I've been lucky enough to spend my whole life studying lizards. Known as the Lizard Man, American biologist Dr. Eric Pianca is a world authority on lizard ecology. He's combed through the globe's deserts for over 40 years, but he's found no better place for his field studies than Red Sands, his research site in the Great Victoria Desert of Western Australia. Red Sands is my favorite place on this earth. It's a beautiful, pristine, clean place. It's a desert rat's paradise. On Red Sands, there's 55 species of lizards living together, including six species of monitor lizards. There's no place else in the world you could find that kind of diversity. Red Sands is teeming with skinks, geckos, and monitor lizards of all sizes. And on this trip, Eric will try new ways to get inside the monitor's mind. But finding them is no easy task, even for the lizard man. Low fences lead the animals into pit traps sunk into the ground. With these pit traps, Dr. Pianca and his field assistant, Stephen Goodyear, catch many of the smaller ground dwellers. Twice a day, Eric and Stephen check all of their 175 traps. By logging every lizard oh, species, fine. they try to work out how so many lizards can coexist. So the real appeal to me is trying to understand the high numbers of species of lizards that you find together. I have to know all the players. We have to know their names and what eats what. I still occasionally stumble on something new out here. So it's just really exciting. I, I, I don't think I could bear to study a low diversity system. In the past 20 years, Eric's pits have trapped more than 18,000 lizards. It's the most comprehensive survey of a lizard community anywhere in the world. Not all monitors are as big as parentes. There are little ones too. Ah, now this is a lizard, lizard and a half. Varanus Arameus. For me, this is a real trophy. It's my favorite lizard of all. It's a lizard hunter, just like me. And they roam over long, long distances hunting other lizards. I'll take him back to camp. Thanks. 
I think it's fascinating that 